it was Halloween, the very first hour of the night. He go out for good treat. A small child rang the doorbell. We had any treats to eat. A man answered the door. He was covered in a long traveler's cloak. His face was hidden. His long spider like hands grasped the air as if wanting something. Trick or tree, the young man called. The stranger growled. A growl that didn't sound human. Why are you here? He said in a voice as if a dozen creatures were trying to say the same thing. To get candy, mister, the child said happily, holding out his basket. The child caught sight of the stranger's teeth underneath the hood. They were a shirt and covered in red, as though stained in blood. The child started to back away and stumbled. The stranger glided to him and took out one hand and grabbed the child's neck. With the other hand, he lifted his hood and the child tried to scream but couldn't. The stranger's face seemed to look as though it was stabbed. The flash of hidden faces, each one more horrifying than the last. The stranger laughed and said, The child died right then. The stranger put his foot back on and dragged the child's body into the house. Some neighbors saw him and called the police. The police arrived and broke into the house and found the body of an old man. It looked as though fangs bit into him. No sign of the stranger or the child existed. People started calling the house the devil house. Some say the devil beat the soul of the dying old man, but then he cleaned up. The child was taken to hell with him for bothering him. But no one still knows why. No one knows why. Ten years passed and everyone forgot. But Rumi still has it that the devil could be souls that day, and on the night of the dead, he could be seen. Children go missing every Halloween, so beware, a house of the devil. He may have visited your neighbors without them noticing, and if he raises his hood, he will drag you to hell and torture you for bothering him. So beware, stay in home. For it's the safest place to stay, unless the devil visits your house, in which, in which case, you'll be trapped.